So let's find one half of three fourths on our ruler or our tape measure here. So if we have one inch right here, right down the middle is one half. We cut that in half again, we get one fourth. So we have one fourth, two fourths, and right here, that's our three fourths. So that's what we're interested in, one half of three fourths. And it's a little bit challenging. You could say half of three fourths is one and a half fourths, but it's a little messy. So let's work in eighths. Because we have our one fourth, if we cut that in half, we get one eighth. We have our one eighth here, and we could just go all the way over here. So one eighth, two, five eighths, and six eighths. So six eighths, that's the same thing as three fourths. In fact, you could simplify this fraction down to three fourths. But now it's a little bit easier to figure out half because we have an even number. So we have six parts out of eight. We're just going to take three parts of that. So count over one eighth, two eighths, right there, three eighths. That's half of six eighths or half of three fourths. If you go from this direction and you go one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, half of six is three, three eighths, that's it. Three eighths is half of three fourths. So that's a good way to figure out one half of three fourths on a ruler here or a tape measure. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.